What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Let me just fix this. Yes. Perfect. So today in this video, I want to share the difference between compromising and letting go. Both are essentially choice of yours. You can compromise your life. You can let things go, which in this case, a lot of things that you need to let go is an expectation. Maybe some people think that it, it seems like a very similar idea. The reason why I bring this idea into a video because both can literally take you to a completely different direction in your life. When you actually choose to compromise your life or any decision that in your life, what happens is every decision you make, every path that you take, every step that you walk, on your path is going to be unfulfilled and unhappy and clearly you don't want to take that path so we need to understand not compromising your life at all but having a certain level of understanding and an ability to let go things and then also your expectations and i believe a lot of people relate to the fact that you received a lot of expectation from your parents or perhaps you have high standards maybe you have a good career you have been working so hard on certain things maybe you're very good at studying since you were a child and then you were always aiming something good or something better so it creates this cycle of like you working so hard and expecting certain result to come out from that effort. So first of all, these choices even dictate the personality of yours. So if you actually establish the habit of compromising your life, you will be somebody who always compromise in any decision in life. So it becomes your personality. And this is why you never even should consider to compromise. But letting go of expectation is that you're detaching yourself from the outcome but choosing to enjoy and find happiness and contentment in your path even if the result may not be the one that you wish to be because destination is not as important as the journey itself the word destiny doesn't point out the destination the destiny actually points out the journey and i'll prove it to you the word destiny in Japanese is called ume. So there's a two different words. And the first un, it means deliver, right? Or move. And then ume is life. So it basically means that to deliver life or to move life or lives, right? But it means destiny. So it is basically the same definition when it comes to the, this one word, destiny, ume. But if we actually pay attention and look into this how it's made and then how the word actually represent as is that is the journey itself is the delivering the life to a certain direction but the destination is not as important as the journey because every single human being on this planet actually destined to die right so the death gives everything meaning because if you don't have the destination in this case death or to be reincarnated or to go to the heaven or whatever the idea of this after death experience. It doesn't mean anything because all, all the things that we have, all the things that we've done means anything. Of course, it can help other people. It can you know, pass the beautiful baton to next generation. We can leave a legacy and all the, you know, a lot of money for your children or for your grandchildren. Of course, there's a lot of things that you can do but that is not the destination. Your destination is not leaving money to your children. The main purpose of your destiny is not to leave money in, to your children. Perhaps if you're 70 years old and 80 years old, you start thinking about it and then that becomes your purpose. But overall, your purpose to live with the children, this is the reason why you should never compromise. Because if you start compromising your life, you compromise all the decision and then you forget what is the meaning of life. And then I believe a lot of people are lost. A lot of people don't know the purpose of life, don't know the, the passion, what excites them. And it comes from the lack of ability to really live fully. And then being present in the moment and being content and detach yourself from the expectation, not the way that you have to compromise. I literally don't believe in the compromising in life, but 
I do let go of a lot of things. I do let go of the expectation that I personally have and I let go of expectation from others. And of course, I feel that I do feel the weight on my shoulder, which can be my own expectation, which can be somebody else's expectation or something like people might have these type of expectation on me. But that's basically my idea that that's just my imagination. That's my thoughts. That's my fantasy, right? But I live in content life and I believe that happiness is everywhere you go. And I believe that contentment and happiness comes and goes. But everyone has different stories and I live my own life and then you live on your life. You live your own life, right? And as we walk on this unique path, and of course there will be an expectation because we desire something like when we do something, and especially when we put a lot of effort, the result can be exactly the opposite of what we expected. And that can make us feel a little bit disappointed. But by letting go, not the compromising, but letting go of these expectations and these attachments to the outcome or certain people, we are more aware of these things and in situation and condition that makes us essentially happy and content. So as I said, if you actually do your best, live fully without thinking about what is your purpose, because every single person holds on to this purpose of life, which is to live fully, because that gives meaning to everything, which is if you don't live fully the best way you can, you wouldn't enjoy anything. If you can let go Why are you living the best? Why are you giving your best shot every single day, every present moment that you can bring yourself back to be in this conscious state? Then you get to find all this happiness and you get to find all this ordinary moment. And it's funny enough because people don't pay attention to these ordinary things. People don't appreciate the things that are very ordinary because it has an idea of like a plain, boring. But I'll tell you what, that every ordinary moment becomes extraordinary when God takes it away. But on the other hand, if you start compromising your life, that becomes your personality. So when you actually become someone who's always habitually compromised, then all of your step will be under the circumstance of the compromised decision. And that is not going to fulfill you at all because it is against of our human purpose, which is to live fully. And of course, situation can be hard. Sometimes we go through the obstacles. Sometimes we are like literally in this like uncertain situations that makes us feel so worried, makes us feel so hesitant. And then we create the resistance. Without letting go th- detachment, we compromise. Because this is actually based on a psychological study that we avoid risks because Higher risks are very uncomfortable, so we tend to take much more time calculating what is lower risk. So if we choose those lower risk, not living fully, compromising, and everything you will see and everything that destiny shows you or gives you as in opportunities and in all these beautiful ordinary moments, or it can be such an extraordinary moment, will be gone. And then we're so busy, we're so busy calculating lower risk, lower risk, and then worrying about this like high risk decisions, we never really be in the present moment. And I've been there. I was literally just avoiding my fears and all these like high risk things. Oh, maybe I will embarrass myself or maybe I'll fail or maybe I will be, uh, will be judged. But once I actually shift my focus to either way, this is all I have. Either way, whether I choose compromising decision or I choose to do my best and detach myself from this outcome and the result, either way, that's all I have. And then if you really rationally think about it, and if you really rationally think about that, the destination, now take that away, okay? Result, destination, take that away. Which moment that you want to experience. This is what the Rihanna says. Life is not about how many times that you can breathe. Life is about how many times that you can encounter with a breathtaking moment. And I can guarantee if you choose to compromise all the time and it becomes somebody always compromising in life, you never seize the opportunity that gives you such a breathtaking moment. And isn't it beautiful 
if you can encounter all these breathtaking moments all the time, even though it makes you nervous, even though it makes you worry, even though it literally just like fills you with uncertainty. But I can guarantee if you go through that, if you face those opportunities and internal fears, then you will be smiling and feeling so refreshed and feeling so fulfilled and content and happy. And then that also allows you to find all the happiness and contentment in everywhere you go. Because you now have ability to live fully and then you're fulfilling your purpose. But again, if you actually become somebody who's always doing your best and then not even consider a tiny bit of this compromising decision, then you can find all this happiness and contentment and even accomplishing the older goals that you have. So with that said, forget about the words compromise. Take that away from vocabulary. I don't know, the Harry Potter has this like magic ones that you can just like take out the memory. I don't know how it's called it, but use that for yourself and always choose to live fully, choose to give your best shot, whatever you do. And then if you can actually do that, you feel so passionate on a daily basis. All right, with that said, I'll speak tomorrow. Ciao. Live your life like a movie.